What's the difference between a data analyst and a data scientist? About $50,000 in base salary. <laughs> Just kidding. But do you want to hear another joke? What do you call a data analyst that works out of California? A data scientist. No, but seriously, data analysts still make a lot of money. On average, actually in six figures. In this video, we'll break down our analysis of 20,000 data analyst salaries that we found on the internet and were submitted by users to see how much on average that they're making nowadays. We ran an analysis and we found that on average in 2022, data scientists were making around $100,000. Historically, around 10 years ago, it actually started at around $80,000 and it's been steadily climbing since then. If you look at total compensation, it's around $120,000. But the one issue with these data points is that the median is actually pretty below the average. And so I wanted to dive in to really wrap my head around are data analysts actually making around six figures? First off, it really depends on what kind of company you work for. If you're working for a big tech company that hires a lot of data analysts, then likely you'd be making even more than some engineers and data scientists at other more traditional companies. For example, if you look at this data point, a data analyst at Google actually makes more on average than a data scientist at a company like Deloitte. And if we take this even further, a data analyst at Deloitte actually makes more than a data analyst typically in the healthcare field. This is because different industries pay their data analysts to do different kinds of roles. At big tech companies, generally data analysts are working pretty closely with data scientists or many times kind of are just working in data science roles, either building reports, pulling data, and working with data engineers in terms of building ETL scripts and presenting them to business stakeholders. However, when you're at a traditional company, generally in consulting or maybe in, even in ad tech, a lot of these companies hire a lot of data analysts just to kind of produce reports in Excel, maybe Tableau, and you're functionally working at a lower level and maybe not as cross-functionally as these new age tech companies are. That's not to say that having skills in Tableau or in Excel aren't useful, it's just the fact that Data analysts generally, as they progress in their careers, earn more and more technical skills. And so when you learn things like SQL, Python, and you end up writing scripts, you end up doing more data science work, which will pay you more. So our study showed that basically big tech companies and late stage startups paid their data analysts the most. Then after that was probably consulting companies and finance companies, and then rounding out the bottom were more so healthcare companies, and then also maybe some universities that employ data analysts or government institutions. Location is also a huge factor for data analyst pay. Because most big tech companies are based out of California, they're generally gonna pay their data analysts a little bit more because of the fact that the cost of living in California is so high anyway. Now with remote work being a little bit more normalized across the companies, you can actually move to different locations and just get a slight pay decrease from a lot of these bigger tech companies as well. You can check out this feature we have on Interview Query where you can normalize any of these salaries by cost of living and see which percentile the company actually pays a lot of their data analysts in. For example, if I work at Facebook and I decrease the salary of a person who's a data analyst that moves to Tennessee by 20%, on average, I'll still probably make in the 90th percentile for a data analyst that works in Tennessee. So looking at the distribution of data analyst salaries, a lot of it is really this bimodal distribution. Because tech companies offer so much money in terms of bonuses and RSUs, even for data analyst positions, the total comp number between tech companies and non-tech companies is pretty high, which creates this kind of bimodal distribution. We see a lot of data analysts get paid around the average of 80K to 85K. And additionally, we see a lot of data analysts that make over 100K to 120K. Another reason why data analyst positions are relatively low compared to other data science or data engineering positions is because they are more frequently entry level. We looked at the seniority graph of data analyst pay by increasing levels, we saw a huge disparity in the fact that there's a lot more entry level data analyst salaries out there than senior data analysts or manager data analytics manager salaries. And the reason for that is because a lot of data analysts transition out of the data analyst role as they grow in their careers. Specifically over the last 10 years, there's been a lot of data analysts that have transitioned to data scientists, which I recommend as a move if you're looking to become a data scientist, but you don't have the skills necessary or the experience necessary to do that yet. There's also a lot of data analysts that might transition into product manager type roles as well, where they actually work with different product groups instead of just analyzing one single 
feature. So to wrap it up, data analyst salaries are on the rise. In the past 10 years, we've seen a 25% boost in pay. And over the next 10 years, we'll probably see increasing levels of pay increases for data analysts as the data science tools and data analytics tools get a lot easier to use and become a lot more useful. The truth is there's always value from experienced data analysts, someone that can communicate their insights, run data analyses on their own, and also then present them to stakeholders to drive decision making is a huge win for any kind of business. So I highly recommend everyone jump into data analytics and check out more of the salaries, check out a little bit more about the career. If you'd like to learn more, you can check out some information provided below uh, in the description of this YouTube video. And please remember to like and subscribe for more content and comment on what you liked or didn't like about this video. Thanks everyone, bye.